Bruce Smith is one of the most decorated Golden Gopher football players of all time. The Faribault, Minnesota native captained the Gophers to an 8-0 championship season in 1941 and won the school's only Heisman Trophy that season. Bruce Smith starts with the side on the spinner, cuts through left tackle, starts through the Wolverine line and heads for pay dirt. 80 yards through the mud for a touchdown and a Gopher victory. On his way to collect the famous statue, the unthinkable happened. On December 7, 1941, Pearl Harbor was attacked. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Two days later, Smith stood in front of a large Heisman ceremony crowd at the downtown athletic club in a nervous New York City and gave a remarkable speech, a speech more about America than football. Mr. Chairman, Mr. President and members of the Downtown Athletic Club, ladies and gentlemen, so much of emotional significance has happened in such a brief space of time that the task of responding on such occasions leaves me at a loss to assign relative values. I want to openly and formally thank those teammates and my coach, for without them this honor would have been absolutely impossible. To them I owe everything. Smith would eventually play in the NFL, but first something more important, serving his country. After accepting the Heisman, Smith would enter the Navy and be counted as one of over 16 million Americans who served in World War II. Those Far Eastern fellows may think that American boys are soft, but I have had, and even have now, plenty of evidence in black and blue to show that they are making a big mistake. <laughs> I think America will owe a great debt to the game of football when we finish this thing off. It keeps millions of American youngsters like myself hard and able to take it and come back for more, both from the physical standpoint and that of morale. It teaches team play and cooperation and eggs us on to go out and fight hard for the honor of our school and likewise the same spirit can be depended on when we have to fight like blazers to defend our country. <laughs>